Hi guys, today in this video I decided to ask what Google Bard and your artificial intelligence from Google knows about FSR 3. So let's cover the most interesting questions. Tell me when FSR 3 will be released. AMD has not yet announced a release date for FSR 3.0. However, it was announced alongside the RDNA 3 GPU reveal in January 2023, and it is expected to be released sometime this year. Some sources have speculated that it could be released as early as Q3 2023, but this is not confirmed. In the meantime, AMD has released some information about what to expect from FSR 3.0. It is said to be a significant improvement over FSR 2.0, with better image quality and performance. It is also said to be more versatile, supporting more games and resolutions. I will keep an eye out for any news about the release date of FSR 3.0 and let you know as soon as I hear anything. Compare all information that you have about FSR 3 and DLSS 3. Here is a comparison of all the information I have about FSR 3 and DLSS 3. As you can see, both FSR 3 and DLSS 3 are capable of improving image quality and performance, but DLSS 3 is generally considered to be the better technology. It offers better image quality, performance, and versatility. However, FSR 3 is still a good option, especially if you have an AMD Radeon GPU. Here is a more detailed comparison of the two technologies, image quality. FSR 3 and DLSS 3 both offer good image quality, but DLSS 3 is generally considered to be the better option. This is because DLSS 3 uses deep learning to upscale images, which can produce more realistic and detailed results. FSR 3, on the other hand, uses a spatial upscaling algorithm, which is less sophisticated. Performance FSR 3 and DLSS 3 both offer good performance, but DLSS 3 is generally considered to be the better option. This is because DLSS 3 can achieve higher frame rates than FSR 3. However, the difference in performance between the two technologies is not always significant. Versatility FSR 3 and DLSS 3 both support a wide range of games and resolutions, but DLSS 3 is generally considered to be the more versatile technology. This is because DLSS 3 is supported by more games than FSR 3. Additionally, DLSS 3 can be used to upscale resolutions up to 8K, while FSR 3 is limited to 4K. Availability FSR 3 is not yet released, while DLSS 3 is available. This means that you can already use DLSS 3 to improve the image quality and performance of your games. However, FSR 3 is expected to be released sometime this year, so it will not be long before you can try it out. New Features FSR 3 will introduce two new features, Temporal Upscaling and Freestyle. Temporal Upscaling is a technique that uses information from previous frames to improve the quality of upscaled images. Freestyle is a set of post-processing effects that can be applied to games to improve the image quality. Pros and Cons FSR 3 has several pros and cons compared to DLSS 3. Here are some of them. Pros. Open source. Less demanding on GPU. Supports more resolutions. Cons. Not as good as DLSS 3 in terms of image quality. Not as widely supported as DLSS 3. Overall, both FSR 3 and DLSS 3 are good technologies that can improve the image quality and performance of your games. However, DLSS 3 is generally considered to be the better technology. It offers better image quality, performance, and versatility. If you have an NVIDIA GeForce GPU, then DLSS 3 is the better option. However, if you have an AMD Radeon GPU, then FSR 3 is still a good option. I hope this comparison is helpful. Please let me know if you have any other questions. As you can see, Google Bart is absolutely sure that AMD FSR 3 will be released this year. Also, it considers FSR 3 as a good option, but at the same time DLSS 3 is better to his mind, because of the image quality, versatility and performance. The only option that is considered better is availability, because AMD would probably release FSR 3 for a major part of modern GPUs. Thank you for watching this video and write in comment below this video if it was interesting. Thank you again and goodbye.